going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome to part, I think it's 10. Uh, dude, come on. You already know I don't even know what part I'm on. I'm just uh, just streaming and having fun. But yeah guys, welcome to whichever part this is. I believe it's number 10. Um, today is Sunday, February 14th, 2024. What's going on guys? Just a chill Sunday over here. Um, I know I said I was gonna stream yesterday on Saturday, but I had so much shit going on with UFC 300, my personal stuff, and even just little uh, errands and all that stuff, so I wasn't able to fit in the stream. Um, yeah, guys, as soon as I woke up, I was locked the fuck in for UFC 300. As soon as I woke up, I fucking shot gonna a happy dad, so I'm telling you, I was, I was locked in, guys. And it didn't disappoint. Right off the get-go, guys, Right off the fucking bat, you had Cody Garbrandt and Figueredo, absolute war. Figueredo made Cody tap. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, I did have a bunch of parlays going, and obviously the chances of parlays even hitting are pretty slim to none, so I didn't. I only got one, but I only cashed like 30 bucks. I think it was like 12 down to win 30 or something like that, so it wasn't fucking nothing. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, it was UFC 300, guys. I'm not a big sports better. I'm not a big sports gambler. Um, I, I know I'm, I know how to sports bet and I know like how to gamble, but I I choose not to. I value my money too much. Um, but yeah, uh, I just said fuck it because it was UFC 300, and um, I, I just wanted to bring even more hype, even more excitement to me watching the fights. And dude, I was fucking locked in. Uh, a bunch of great fights, dude, especially going into the main card. Um, I was most excited for Armin Sarukian and Charles Oliveira. Armin Sarukian ended up winning. Uh, it, that's just like how I predicted. Although it was a pretty good fight. I feel like if Charles would have been fighting the same way that he fought against Gagey Chandler and um, Dustin Poirier, I think he probably could have won. But, I mean, he, I think he, he seemed like he was fighting a little bit more safer if that's even a word um it didn't look like he was taking a lot of chances like in the stand-up game and that's usually when he really excels but i have a feeling that because of his fight with islam that's the reason he decided to not really push the pace because ultimately what made charles lose the islam fight was he threw that wild like flying knee and you're just like what are you doing you know like i mean that was my initial thought was like what the fuck are you doing and then that ultimately lost him the fight and then he got choked out so i think that's why he's being a little bit more cautious trying to be a little bit more strategic and i mean eventually he went to the ground and armin that's where he really excelled at now if you have islam versus armin i think islam beats him like pretty convincingly now i know they fought prior like uh like a few years ago and i remember seeing that fight and it was a close fight it was a really good fight but uh islam just it barely etched it out um, but I think if they fight again, I think Islam just cooks them. Uh, Dana White did announce a lot more fights, so pretty soon we're gonna get, or they're already announced. I just don't know what which ones are for. But we have uh, Dustin Poirier versus Islam for the belt. We have uh, McGregor and um, uh, Chandler at 170. They're not fighting at lightweight. And then they announced one more, but I don't remember which fight it was. Um, yeah, I just... And then, uh, obviously, the the main event, it was very lackluster. It was underwhelming, to say the very least. Uh, I mean, I know Jamal... What's his name? Jamal Hill? Yeah. He's the one that was trying to sell the fight and put beef out there and stuff like that. But he... His performance wasn't even like crazy. He said, oh yeah, I'm not gonna wrestle him. I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna strike with him, I'm gonna knock him the fuck out. And he was saying like, yeah, Pereira's a kickboxer, this and that, but this is MMA. I was like, that's a weird take because you're basically telling everybody, reminding everybody it's MMA, but prior to that, you said that you're gonna knock him out with strikes, like, come on. Uh, I feel like a boxer versus a kickboxer, kickboxer's gonna win every time. And, um, yeah, he didn't even get close. Um, fucking Pereira didn't even get touched. The Jamal Hill just ate a fucking punch and he fell and that was it. Um, but it, it was funny. The sequence was funny because like it looked like Hill just nut checked um, uh, Pereira and then 
Herb Dean was about to step in and call time, but Perez like, no, 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 st- stand back. And literally within those five seconds that that happened, he fucking caught him with that. It wasn't even his his fucking his uh, his right hand or his powerful hand. I don't even know what that's called. But it was his fucking his lead left hook, dude. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like he dropped him with like a quick ass hook, and that's all she wrote. So. But obviously, the the fight that caught everybody by storm was a five rounder with Justin Gagey and Max Holloway. So let me tell you guys about this fight. And if you if you're watching this on YouTube, just fucking skip it. You know, do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I actually want to talk about that fight. But let me set up my stream manager before I forget. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Uh, so I guess now I have no choice but to use the new stream manager. Yeah, I kind of went on a rant on Friday. I, it's so annoying. To say the least, the new stream manager on on Twitch fucking sucks. Uh, I don't want that. But yeah, guys, like I said, feel free to skip all this. Um... Check out new ways to manage. Yeah, this is fucking ugly, dude. I don't want it that way. Let's see. Um, whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, so I did want to talk about that Max Holloway and Gagey fight. So going into this fight, I thought Gagey was going to win. G- Gagey's been looking really good in his last fights. And I mean, no disrespect to Max Holloway or anything, but Max Holloway, like, he hasn't been really hot in his past couple fights, especially all the wars that he had with Alexander Volkanovsky. And I feel like that was kind of enough. Now, I wouldn't say to expose him, but to kind of sh- like find his holes, you know what I mean? And knowing Trevor Whitman and his analytical mind, I thought... They were going to be able to get that into Gagey's mind so he would know what to do. But And on top of that, he's going up in weight and, and all that. Yeah, and yes, Max looks looked great at 155. He had time to really bulk up and look like really good. But that's still a new weight class for him, and it's Gagey's like, original weight class. So whenever I was just thinking about it, and I was like, fuck, dude, I think Gagey's going to end up taking this fight. But I never told anybody, like, that. that's my lock. Like, that's for sure. But just the way that I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, Gagey's going to win. Gagey's going to win. And also, too, my other argument to it was, like, Max has never really tasted that kind of power. Like, yeah, he's probably been hit hard, but there's no way in hell he's been hit as hard as uh, someone like Justin Gagey can hit, you know? So I, I, I thought if the fight goes past three rounds, I think Max is going to be able to take it because by then, um, Gagey would have already been, like, gassed out and all that stuff, and then he would be able to really... Um, take advantage of uh of gagey being tired or really capitalize on it um that's what i was looking for he would have been able to capitalize on the fact that gagey was already kind of like tired and things like that so um so then the first like at the beginning i was like the first three rounds are gonna go to gagey uh, it just how well max can handle all the pressure and the power but there was one key element that i completely forgot that uh which is why max won Max is a smaller fighter. Max has always fought at 145. So what do smaller fighters have over heavier fighters? Clearly not the power, but the speed. And it was clear as day. 
bobbing, weaving, moving, ta ta ta. Like you know, like he was just too quick for him. Justin Gagey couldn't touch him. And I guess there could be an argument about the eye pokes and that early on like spinning leg kick to the to the face. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that all plays a lot of like huge factors. But the clearest thing that I saw was just the speed. Like Max was way too fast, so he was touching him, touching him, touching him, and ultimately Max was gonna win, right? But it was those last 10 seconds, man. Those last 10 seconds where they put on a fucking battle. And then in the last two seconds is when Max ended up getting that KO. Which was fucking crazy to say the least. Um, yeah, guys. It, it was a really great fight. And uh, shout out to Max and shout out to, uh, to Justin Gagey. Uh, I hope they compensated Justin Gagey well with money. Even if it was just a 300k. But I think they said that uh, Max Holloway, they gave him an extra 600000 which is well-deserved, dude. Because that's going to go down in history. UFC 300, Max Holloway versus Justin Gagey. Both of them are in the prime of their career. Um, and then they fucking went out like that. That shit was nuts, guys. Like, it was fucking crazy. So, shout-out to Max. Shout-out to Justin Gagey. That was a great fight. Um, and that pretty much covers, like, what I wanted to talk to about um, UFC 300. So, UFC 301 is uh next month i believe and but that fight or that card isn't really that great and i'm in my opinion but i'm still gonna end up watching it um but yeah guys uh, i don't have too much other uh stuff to go over so let's just get right into the the stream uh part number 10 or so or whatever the fuck this is of uh gta 5 so let's get it And no, I'm not drinking today, unfortunately. Well, not, I wouldn't say unfortunately because I have work tomorrow, but no, I am not fucking drinking today. Today is going to be a nice chill day where I play some games, talk some shit, and drink uh, my electrolytes. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I got my fucking liquid IV over here. And I'm, dude, I've been fucking itching to drink this shit because I'm thirsty as fuck. Oh yeah, I pretty much already finished it. <clears throat> you know what, guys? This shit is really pissing me off. I'm gonna try to look up how to go back to the old street manager. Wait, what? Top left corner. <clears throat> See, this is the one that I want. But that looks like it's on the fucking, it's like on the website. I don't know, guys. Huh? What you want, some dick? Uh, what does that say? Feel it? Who the fuck? This story mode, right? Yes. Well, thank you for the sub. Thank or the sub. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Shout out to Felix. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just get right into it then. <clears throat> Story mode's hella lit. Nah, Felix is destroyer. Y'all deserve the follow for sure. Damn, dude, you're you're fucking. Cost zero dollar to support because you're out here grinding. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, let's get right into this. <clears throat> um, so I think we just finished off with fucking stealing a nuke and I had called it after that. I think I don't even remember to be quite honest. 
Um. Oh no, we're setting up for the other heist, the one that the FIB uh, was asking us to do. Been playing story mode too, because when I first played it, I skipped all the dialogue. Now no more skipping, dude. I'm gonna be honest, the story mode in this game is fucking good. Like, I, it's been a while too since I played the story mode in this game, but this story mode is actually really good. And that's to say the fucking least, dude. Uh, no music. Yeah, I think they're already all ready to do the heist. Can't wait for GTA 6. Yeah, me either, buddy. That's gonna be hella lit for sure. Yeah, dude, I'm 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 interested. I hopefully they invest a lot of time and effort into that story as well. I know that as of recently, like a lot of people that all they like to do is play online. And she like that. Where the fuck's the door? Um, yeah, I know that the a lot of people like to play online and just stick to online. But I've I've always been a, a story mode person. I never really grew up playing um online. Uh, I grew up just playing PS2, and I really would admire, like, story modes and stuff. But that's just me. <laughs> yeah, and then they play that role-playing game, too. i am be honest, I'm, like, really out of touch with, like, what people like to play as far as uh, online games. Uh, I don't play online games at all. I just like to play just normal story mode shit. You want some dick? Fuck, I gotta move that thing. Oh, uh, uh, greetings. I have been impressed by your streaming content. Uh, streaming content I have chosen to follow you. I would like to establish friendship, become a fan. I highly doubt that looks fucking real. Felix, you're you're the one that looks more legit in this one. I mostly play story mode too, but I dab on some online games too, not gonna lie. It's like COD, but hella sweaty players there. Laugh my ass off. That's fucking true. That is true. Damn, I need to move that, uh, hold up, the alert box, let me see something real quick. Huh? What, you want some dick? Yeah, I gotta move that, it's right in the way of everything else. <clears throat> move it, right here, let's look at that again. Test it. Huh? What, you want some dick? Okay, yeah, that's solid, I like that right there. Or should I put it, like, right here next to the beer? I'll just put it right there then. Um, <clears throat> no, and you're right, dude. Like, I like I said, dude, I've never been into playing online. Yeah, I played a, a, online probably uh, MW2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, MW3, and things like that during, like, the mid or, like, the early 2010s and shit like that. But I never got really serious to it. And it's the way that I look at it is, like, in all honesty no hate towards anybody that plays video games and obviously i mean i'm playing a video game right now but i'm streaming and i try to don't let my time to go to waste but if you're just playing video games on your own and not doing anything newsflash you're fucking like really wasting a lot of time in your life no offense to anybody that loves playing video games and likes to use this as a hobby or get a gateway but you're just wasting your time and i feel like especially with um online gaming bro that shit's endless there's like no end goal to it there's no like end to playing online games you're gonna continue to play get xp buy or do the microtransactions that they now have because of fortnite and shit like that there's no fucking end to it and at least with story mode there's an end to it so even if you wanted to play a story mode game or a game for the story and invest like a month or two of like your time well, you, there's an end to it. Eventually, you're like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go on about my life and, and whatnot. But yeah, there's no end to story, to online games, which is another huge reason why I stay away from it. Unless you're a streamer or you're making content, then you're obviously working towards something. That's the way that I look at it, man. <clears throat> uh, now nah, I'm a bot. Fuck, you're a good-ass bot. <laughs> um, all right. Enough of these rats. I really need to get some missions in. Cause I don't plan on having a long stream today. Bro, that shit's far as fuck. I'm gonna get a fucking taxi. Oh, 
Oh my god. Get the fuck out. Bitch. I'm just trying to call a cab and that bitch almost ran me over. Okay, nice. Hey, my man, where you going? Uh, don't take me right towards the heist because it starts the mission without me wanting it to. So just take me right there. So what, Felix? You do uh, streaming as well? It looks like you have 480 followers. That's good, man. What else do you like to do besides streaming? What's your main game, though? Like, what do you mean? Like, what game I like to play? Uh, dude, I've just been honest. I just play games, dude. Um, uh, I also do uh, YouTube. So this is what I do. I like to use Twitch's streaming platform and Streamlabs to be able to save my streams and my content. Then from there, throughout the week, I edit them on um, the computer and I chop them up as like YouTube uh, shorts, I think they call them. And then I upload them on YouTube. And YouTube is kind of where I generate more of my like following, quote unquote, if you want to say that. Because I think I'm closing in on a thousand subscribers on YouTube. You want to check that out as well. Um, but yeah, I think like my bread and butter right now is YouTube and just chopping up all these parts and just uploading them as Let's Plays and all that stuff. Uh, Twitch, it's the reason I use it is because I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time just recording videos like offline. I rather record them as a stream and to try to uh, generate an audience here as well. So that's the way that I look at it. Um, I don't stream. I used to a long time ago, but streaming's not for me. Laugh hey, my ass off. Like what games uh, you, you mainly play? So we well, do this GTA, uh, mainly, but I'm almost done with it, so I'm probably going to play some old PS2 games after right. this. So, so but I, I haven't enough. decided which ones. Hey, right, Trevor, yeah. I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in the tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, <laughs> grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. Saw a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down. Yeah, dude, down, you got a lot of followers. I was looking at down, it. We'll handle it. You stay up here on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay, we'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, true to professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right, the masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. Well, what work do you do? <sighs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. <clears throat> Get the garbage truck. Hold up, there's something else I want to do. There you go. <clears throat> I spiced up streams for real, for real. What does that mean? So if you ever want to spice up your stream with some crazy good graphics emotes, I'm the man. For real, for real. Drop your Discord so we can connect. Let's get it. Yeah, man, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll reference this back, so. All right, T. I'm in position. What's the ETA? Oh, my God. My fucking controller died. Bro, I need to get new batteries on this controller. This shit's always dying. Um, 
fuck? I think so, dude. I don't. I don't remember. <clears throat> there they are, incoming. Get ready to do your thing. Michael, you better get on your way. Get the truck in position. Across both lanes, remember. Oh, so, okay, I'm supposed to block the road. Just stop in the road and stay there. I'm stopping. You're on, F. Did Public Works change their schedule? Ram is speed, bitch! Uh-oh. Ram the security truck. That shit's so calculated. So what are we doing? Stealing the money from this, uh, van? Is that it? Boom! Alright, make it happen. Plant the sticky bomb. I'm doing it! Plant the sticky bombs on the rear. Oh, on the rear. Back away from the bomb, app. And make Everyone out! Let's go! On the ground now! Move it! My fucking ears! I fucking tap you complete bank! Clean out the van, I got the guard. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up! Come on, good to go! Sounds like they coming in numbers, homie! All right, what the fuck are we gonna do? Make a play when we see a window. Hey, man, we sitting ducks right here. Yeah, I got your back. Just let me know. I'm up here watching over you, boys. Well, one of you more than the other. Look out for her. Cops coming from out the alley on the left. Deal with those cops coming up the alley before they fight. Who the fuck's exploding them? Uh, yeah, I need to go to. The alley at the back on the left. Mad cops coming up. Send them back. Back it up for the lonely area, man. The cops go mad. Hey, samurai. We put these cops down and we move on. Hey guys, I got a visual cop here in case you need me to wait in. All we gotta do is ride this out. Better not slip. Keep them down. The alley's clear. Shit, man, I hear at the front. He's got a gun. Hey, I got these dudes. Uh. LSPD sniper team on the roof opposite you, just to the right. You gotta take. Thanks for you down there. I see the snipers. I'll get rid of them. What snipers? These fucking snipers. They don't go. I will. I don't fucking see them. Bro, this is the only part that I kind of get aggravated with because I don't know where these dudes are. Whatever. I'll just help them out. There's tons of these assholes. Oh, okay, I just see them. Shooter one is down. Oh, they're all on that building. I'm an idiot. Shooter two is down. Snipers are gone. Fuck. They're thinning out. This 
give me our chance to go. I'll deliver the bonds. F, you dump the trash truck. If the government don't need me no more. Woo, shit, all right, man, you stay safe. Get in the garbage truck. Well, that was easy. I thought that shit was gonna be a lot harder. It's gonna, or it seemed harder, but it wasn't that bad. Going to the getaway car, okay. No wonder it's far. <laughs> you can see it, it's right there. I just left it uh, by the river. Bro, that moped shouldn't have been on the highway to begin with. That's his fault. I hope he's okay though. Oh no, that guy's dead. <laughs> Get back in the garbage truck, what do you mean? How, uh, fuck, okay. Another moped. Now oh, that guy got away. Yeah, I'm starting to regret um, having put the fucking getaway car right there. Let's see if I can jump over the fucking fence. Yeah. No, I can't. Fucking bitch. Mm. I need to get off the highway somehow. Right here. Oh yeah, right here. Destroy the garbage truck. Dude, I could have sworn when I left the getaway car here, shit was broken as fuck. And now it looks brand new. I'm gonna have to double check that one. Uh, wait, hold up, guys. I, I mean, thanks to you, Felix, and that other bot, I think I got more followers now. How the fuck do I see how many total followers I have? Yeah, man, 99 followers. Holy shit. One more, guys. Hopefully we get one more. How do I close this? Yeah, it's 99 right now, I think. Yeah, you're right. I just checked it. Get away from the garbage truck.
Huh? What do you want some dick? Uh, thank you. Everybody, we just hit 100 followers. Who's that? The bougie fluffy? <laughs> Was that you that did that, Felix? If you did, thank you. Everything cool? Yeah, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Oh, shit. Yeah, thank you, sir. I appreciate that shit. Shout out to you, Felix. Oh, fuck. That was close. Package from Mr. Weston. The fuck's what? Devin Weston? That only way is up. Hell yeah. Thank you again, yeah, sir. And I'm telling you that I don't give a flyer fuck. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Boom. So long, motherfucker. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. The fuck's that I guy? I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. <laughs> Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... <laughs> All right. Oh man, Solomon Richards. <laughs> Is he really that easily persuaded? Come on, Michael. Who hey, fucking cares? Blitz play. Mission pass. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of the lesser missions. What fucking achievement did I get? Rare achievement unlocked. Five percent of players got it. You performed the classic blitz play. Which is what the fuck was it? The perfect guest for you. Um, Let's go introduce him. Coming up on Chattersphere with the last the show. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact. Are you joking? <laughs> Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. Yeah, bike shouldn't be on the road either, guys. I'm sorry. Real opportunity. Oh, fuck. There's another deer. Fucking get those deers. Brother Adrian. Brother Adrian, welcome to the show. Yo, bitch. Fuck. Damn it. So good to have you Ain't getting away, bitch. Fuck, maybe maybe you did. Damn it. Ah, I lost the deer. Oh shit. I'll get that deer next time, guys, I promise. Damn, how the fuck am I gonna get out of here? I need that bike. Get your gun out, Michael. You need that fucking bike. There we go. <laughs> hey, bro, you forgot your bike.
Uh, where am I going? So I got two missions, huh? For Solomon and Devin. Oh, this is okay. Hold up, we gotta do these missions first, though. Huh? How do I get a cop? Bro, how much longer is he gonna have the cops for? Okay, thank God. What is that thing right there? You guys see that little blimp right there with the. Bro, what is that? Shrink? Oh, that's his therapist. Huh, I wonder what that does for him. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't talk? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Damn. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. No, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. The FIB is making me. Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. <laughs> my wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. Wait, what did he say? He said, I agree. Sure. I don't like myself very much, Doc. 
And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. Damn. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't what? suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah. Okay. Close the door on your way out. Fucking greedy bastard. And buddy, chin up, okay? So we're still going to that other dude, Davey, I believe it is. The fuck? It's the first time I've seen that. You guys see that shit? Dude was hanging out for dear life on that billboard. God, that fucking idiot. Nah, that that shit ain't gonna fly with me. What the fuck on my way? That's my car now. Fucking bastard. <laughs> Holy shit! So much chaos in the span of like 20 seconds. I love this game. I'm not even tripping. But I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of hard to uh, to get rid of a one star. Oh my god. Oh my god, now I got a two star. Where the fuck is Los Santos Customs around here? It's pretty close. Oh yeah, it's right here. Bitch, what the fuck? Hey! Oh, 
Um. Better than new. I just need new paint. <laughs> One thousand. Yeah, just give me normal color. What the fuck? No more cops. Let's go do this fucking mission. Trevor and Franklin are already here. Fuck. Mm. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you. Finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose! Now, are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Get in the car. All right, let's go do this. What the fuck did that guy just say? Talking about dump things? See you soon. Yeah, we'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. So what am I doing now? Just stealing cars? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. Race the cars. Okay, where am I going though?
Bro, these guys are gonna fuck up. Damn, 100 out of 100 driving? Fuck, Franklin has good stats. So we're we're provoking these guys to get in a, um, a race and I'm assuming Trevor and Michael they're gonna crash into them or something and then they're gonna end up stealing those cars. Stop. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Oh, here we go. Here they come. Trevor I'm eating donuts? Later. They're both eating donuts. You want me to get close, dude? These are supercars. And yeah, we gotta stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. Am I gaining on them or is that my imagination? Bro, I'm literally going as fast as I can. Stay on a tee, they'll stop eventually. We're getting closer. Thank God. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there. So uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on, officer. Officer, is this officer, entirely yes, necessary? yes, it is. Get on, come on. Fucking Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Fucking car. Yeah, they almost right, got hit by that other shit. car. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick. You, you little shit. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Oh, son 
<laughs> you fucking steal their cars and then Michael runs them over. That's great. Uh, to find the right channel. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the car. Can I just be Franklin? I like I like um his driving Mr. ability Davis better. Says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos in South LA. I'm gonna be there well ahead of you. That's all you got. Circle to me. Come on. Nah, no, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> hey, you dudes are in the stolen ride. Click. Holy shit, Franklin. Fuck. I no excuses for being way back there. The lead horse always burns out before the Some fucking music. Oh, never mind. My flowers grow from that compost. My garden. We pay luck. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Oh, you bitch. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. Holy shit. So he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. A damn fool right in front of you. Like a damn fool, circus. You got to consume the culture shit. Consume it. Literally, spiritually, consume the culture shit. That's what makes it spiritual. By consuming bits of other people's culture and then hold it. Dude. Don't see how watching goldfish in a trash can is spiritual. It's like we're just watching. Dude. Don't What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, it feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. Boom! No! Fuck! Yeah, that guy's dead. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Damn, Trevor's are gonna try to get at that secretary chick, Molly, or whatever her name is. Hey, your car is still all right, right? Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Fuck. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Oh yeah, fuck, he's already so, here. I'm in charge of this. Did he he just ran somebody over? And I will dock your pain. The stains on the seat. Jesus. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh god, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. 
Like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? <laughs> Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, guys. It looks like the street manager on fucking... Like, on the actual website, it looks it's a lot better. What's that? Oh. Trying to find something else. Fuck do I get that cancel change? Okay, get back into this shit. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now I want to continue to do those, uh, the missions that I was just doing, so. Man, when am I gonna get a paycheck for one of these licks? He's all the way over there. It's not that far. Denise Franklin, you ain't been home. I got I got worried, thought. Thought about calling, you never picked up. I did some digging and found out that you ain't been home because they know home. Because it's not your home anymore. Oh, okay. Oh my god, look at all these fucking messages. Put on some heart woman music right now. Put some heart woman on that a father and a son can spiritually connect them. Daddy, I've been crocheting you an Afghan quilt and scrapbooking and keeping a photo album for us to share together of all our future memories. Oh my god, Dad, you don't understand. I am so happy right now. How'd you find me? Well, I was walking by another inmate cell and he was listening to this fruity idiot on the radio. And I went in and said, turn that dope nonsense off now or I'm gonna shake you. And then you said your name was Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris and I said, it can't Terrence D'Angelo Harris, and I left you and your mother many years ago. I couldn't believe it was my son on the radio. 
This is so touching. We should send a fuck. Stand up cardboard cutouts of you homing. <laughs> I just called to say you're an embarrassment, boy. What? As soon as everyone here in prison found out that I was your father, now the whole place makes fun of me. There's a reason I left you all these years ago. You're a puss, boy. A bullying, nasty, creepy. All right, here we go. Stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right, you know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. So basically, I think wherever I point it, they'll drive that way. What is this person doing? Oh, they're, those dudes are fucking! Not our guy. Oh, wait, no, they're not fucking, they're fighting. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Fucking or what the hell? Who knows? We ain't after this one. Oh my god! He just fucking killed that dude. That's crazy. I should have kept recording that one. Oh fuck. He kills her too? Nah. Would you look at that couple? Finally! Some normal, adjusted, healthy people in this horrible town! Found them! Um... Look, cool. 
We're looking for his lockup, dog. All right, stay on him and look out. Roger that. Track Chad Mulligan. Chud. Chad Mulligan, where he parked this car. Can't see him. Fucking lost them. Suspects on foot. Okay, I see the chop. I ain't far away. Who's gonna see that dead body? Yeah, look at him. Car is that? Suspect sighted going south on Dutch Drive. Suspect going west down alley toward El Rancho. West. Car going north on El Rancho. Woo -woo -woo -woo. All units be advised. We have a possible joyrider heading west on Howick in a black Z type. Hey man, you getting other cops on this shit? Fuck. Chopper three, we have reports of dangerous driving in your sector. Uh, well, this is Chopper Unit three. Reports are greatly exaggerated. Over. Your boy Chad very nearly totaled the score. Oh, Chad, that was close. All right, I see him. I see him. I'm moving in. Where you at, Franklin? Suspect back on Del Perro heading west. Frank, you gotta speed this up. He's getting away. Hey, where is he, man? Reckless driver sighted crossing Dorset Drive. Suspect sighted near the Life Invader offices. Oh, this guy sucks at driving. I mean, although he hasn't crashed or anything, he fucking sucks. Hey, where this fucking asshole at? Suspect last seen near parking garage. Suggest ground team clear the building. Pilot boy! Pick us down. I need to see inside the building. Ping. What the fuck 
Don't. Taking a piss. Has to be this guy right here. Near side of the garage, on my left, there's a man in a car. This better be him. This better be the guy. Hey, that's the motherfucker. Thank you, Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car might be worth something, but it ain't. Should I kill him, guys? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's yours, man. Enjoy. I mean, that car. I don't think I was supposed to kill him, but fuck it. Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. I think they both gonna be there, dog. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. <laughs> man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, yeah, Franklin. Hook Trevor up, man. What the fuck? It's fucked up, dude. I'd do it. Slow and steady, guys. Apparently, well, they want this one in good condition. So I can't crash, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under. Uh! I'll just stick to driving, all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like teen? No, not like teen, man. They only made exactly one. Exactly teen. Oh. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man. Right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs, I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will.
Before it's too late, man. Eh, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! Will they run him over? What happens if Franklin gets on here? Oh no, I don't think they're gonna leave until I leave. Oh, that great one's sick. I'll take this one. Well, they're the same fucking car, just different colors. That's bullshit. Oh, my ass hurts. You can buy the hanger? What the fuck? Oh, this is the one that fucking makes you go all crazy, huh? <laughs> I had to. I fucking had to hit that shit one time in the stream. Oh my god. Yeah, because I think even if you just like drive up slow, it fucking launches you. Look at him. Just turn it. <laughs> Failed? What you mean failed? Yo, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go on that one. I'm Don't be no wise ass punk, now give me that. Uh. Oh, you want a strap, huh? Yes, dude, you're just fucking trying to chase his car. <laughs> yeah, but as soon as I pull out a fucking... Oh, wait, wait, no. As soon as I pull out a gun, you get all scared. Damn, that was close. Alright, here we go. So yeah, I think if uh, if you j even just drive up like really slow, it still launches you. Watch. Or not? I was fucking wrong. I thought it just launches you regardless. Uh, how much time am I in? Uh, an hour and 30. You know what, guys? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and stop it right here. Uh, yeah, I feel like this weekend wasn't super uh, productive. But uh, next weekend, I don't have too much going on. At least that I know of. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Calm down, Michael. You're acting weird. Um... But yeah, guys, like I said, I'm just going to stop it here and then get the little outro going and letting you guys know my plans for the week. Um, so yeah, guys, like I mentioned, like, so guys, like I mentioned, fuck, I can't even talk today. So burnt out from yesterday. Um, yeah, guys, so, <clears throat> uh, this coming up week, I'm just going to edit these two parts. And then if I hit those a thousand subscribers, like we've been waiting on, uh, I'll drop the, the that first vlog. But I did want to thank, um, especially Felix, Felix the Destroyer. I don't think he's in uh, the chat anymore. But big shout out to you, dude, for helping me get to the 100 follower goal on Twitch, which is cool. You guys already know my bread and butter is on YouTube. You guys know that the shorts and all that stuff, that's what I primarily do as a content creator, I guess you could say. Um, but the fact that I finally hit the 100 follower goal, like, I really appreciate that. So, again, big shout out to you, Felix the Destroyer. Um... He definitely came through on this one, and he got me to the 100 followers. Uh, I guess the next goal is probably 500, so I'm going to update my goal to put 200. I don't know. But, yeah, guys, um, thank you for that. Uh, so, yeah, going into this week, I'm going to chop up uh, these past two parts that I did um, for this weekend. Upload them all on YouTube. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to the 100 follower goal. If not, I'll just keep pushing, or the 1,000 subscriber goal on YouTube. But if not, then I'll just continue to keep pushing and keep grinding 
Um, so yeah, guys, this coming up weekend, I don't have anything special going on. I think this coming up weekend is the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fight, which I'm going to watch. I have a buddy uh, of mine that I'm going to watch it with, but it's not going to be like super significant like UFC 300. So I'm going to have a lot of time that day to be able to actually stream a significant amount. And I do want to because I'm not going to I don't I'm not going to sit here and say like I feel like I've been lacking, but I feel like I could still do more. So next weekend the goal is friday saturday and sunday and each of them i want to do at least two hours just really grind it out and get somewhere um not that i'm getting tired of gta 5 because i actually really enjoying it and also not not that i want to like finish the game because i'm annoyed of it or anything crazy like that but i just want to start feeling like i'm really putting in some time and all that um i might even do some side grinding dur during the week because usually by like Tuesday, I'm done editing all the videos and all that stuff. So even right now, I might already start uploading the ones from uh, that I already up that I had already recorded this weekend. But um, yeah, guys, I'm going to see what uh, what I decide. But keep on a lookout. Um, shorts and all that great stuff are going to get uploaded throughout the week. You already know. it. And then this coming up weekend, I'm going to stream. So yeah guys i don't have too much more again your boy Thumbs out to Nino. thank you for everybody that tuned in thank you felix and Destroyer for getting me the 100 and let's push for that a thousand subscribers guys i want to drop that vlog i want to show you guys um that that dodger vlog that i made so yeah just help me get to it and um yeah i'll drop it so again guys your boy is Thumbs out to Nino. and i'll catch you guys on the next one for part number 11 of gta 5 for xbox series x till then Peace and fucking chicken grease.